Ever wondered how to make that economy class flight feel more like business class? Stick around for tip number eight. It's a game changer. Today, we're diving into the world of comfortable economy travel. And trust me, it's not as elusive as it seems. Picture this. You're about to embark on a long haul flight. The anticipation is high, but so is the dread. Cramped seats, noisy neighbors, and limited legroom. But what if I were to tell you that with a few simple tricks, you could turn that economy class squeeze into a much more enjoyable experience. Let's kick off with our first tip, choosing your seat carefully. Believe it or not, not all economy seats are created equal. Some offer more legroom, others provide quicker access to the restroom, and a few might even spare you the agony of a non-stop chatterbox neighbor. So before you click that random seat assignment button, take a moment to study the plane seating chart. Aisle seats, for instance, are ideal for those who value legroom and easy access to the aisle. Window seats, on the other hand, are perfect for dreamers who love gazing at the clouds and the ones who prefer not to be disturbed during the flight. Middle seats? Well, they're for the resilient souls who can sleep anywhere or those who booked their flight at the last minute. Remember, your seat location can also determine how much engine noise you'll have to endure, how often you'll feel the bump during turbulence, and how quickly you can disembark once the plane lands. It's all about finding the seat that suits your priorities and needs, be it peace and quiet, extra space, or a quick exit. So the first step to a comfortable journey starts even before you board the plane, picking your seat wisely. Stay tuned for more tips on turning your economy flight into a journey of comfort and ease. Because let's face it, travel isn't just about the destination, it's about enjoying the journey too. Now that you've secured the best seat, let's talk about staying hydrated and well-fed. Flying in an airplane is an adventure, but it can also be dehydrating. The air in the cabin is often dry and can leave you feeling parched. So it's important to drink plenty of fluids, especially water. But remember, not all beverages hydrate equally. Coffee and alcohol, for instance, can actually dehydrate you. Now let's talk about nutrition. Airplane food has a reputation for being less than appetizing. Bringing your own snacks can be a game changer. Think about foods that are high in protein and fiber to keep you feeling full. Nuts, dried fruit, or protein bars are great options. This way you can control what you eat and when you eat it. So keep your water bottle handy and your snacks at the ready. Because after all, a well-fed traveler is a happy traveler. All right, you're seated comfortably and have your snacks ready. But what's next? Well, let's talk entertainment and comfort. Ever noticed how quickly time flies when you're engrossed in a good book or a captivating movie? That's why it's a smart move to bring your own entertainment. Load up your tablet with your favorite shows, movies, or ebooks. If you're more old school, pack a paperback or a crossword puzzle. Now on to comfort. A long haul flight is not a fashion show, so think comfort. Loose layered clothing is a good start, giving you room to breathe and adjust to fluctuating cabin temperatures. And don't forget about your feet. They tend to swell at high altitudes, so opt for comfortable shoes or even fluffy socks. So remember, your flight doesn't have to be a drag. With a bit of preparation, you can turn it into a cozy, entertaining experience. Comfort and entertainment, two key factors for an enjoyable flight. I ever heard the saying, the early bird catches the worm. It applies to flying too. Checking in early, whether online or at the airport, offers several advantages. For one, it allows you to secure your preferred seat. You know, the one with the extra legroom or the one away from the noisy engines. Plus, it's a chance to beat the rush. Airports can be overwhelming, especially during peak hours. Arriving early gives you ample time to navigate through security checks, grab a bite, or even catch up on some duty-free shopping. And let's not forget the peace of mind it brings. No one likes the stress of rushing to catch a flight. Checking in early eliminates that risk. It ensures you're not only on time, but also relaxed and ready for the journey ahead. So save yourself some stress and always aim to check in early. We're halfway through our list. Now let's get moving. Have you ever noticed that stiff, uncomfortable feeling after sitting for a long period of time? That's your body telling you it needs to stretch. On a long haul flight, this becomes even more important. Think about it. When you're on the ground, you naturally move around every hour or so. But in the air, you're in a confined space, often for many hours at a time. To counteract this, give your body the movement it craves. Stand up, stretch your legs, roll your shoulders, and twist your spine gently from side to side. It doesn't have to be a full-on aerobics routine, just enough to get the blood flowing and your muscles loosened up. Remember to respect the space of your fellow passengers and time your stretches to coincide with less busy periods, 
like when the meal service isn't happening. A little movement goes a long way in maintaining your comfort. Before we dive into the next tip, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and let us know where you're traveling to next in the comments. Your engagement not only supports us, but also allows us to bring you more travel tips and secrets. So, whether you're jetting off to a tropical paradise or embarking on a bustling city adventure, we're here to help make your journey as smooth as possible. Now let's move on to that game-changing tip we teased earlier. Ready for the essential tip? Dress in layers. It's not just about style, it's about practicality and comfort. Airplanes are notorious for their unpredictable temperatures, and dressing in layers gives you the flexibility to adjust to these changes. Start with a light, breathable base layer to keep you cool when you're rushing to catch a connecting flight. Add a cozy mid-layer, like a soft sweater, for warmth during the flight. Finally, top it off with a lightweight jacket or shawl that can double as a blanket or a pillow in a pinch. Don't forget about your feet. Comfortable shoes and a pair of cozy socks are a must. And remember, pockets are your best friend, providing extra storage for small essentials like earbuds, lip balm, or your passport. So don't just dress to impress, dress for success. When it comes to flying, the way you dress can make or break your experience. Now that you're dressed for success, let's talk about seizing opportunities. We all know that space is a luxury in economy class. But what if we told you that there's a way to potentially get more of it? That's right, we're talking about moving seats. It's not always possible, but in cases where the flight isn't fully booked, there might be a chance for you to stretch out a bit more. After the seatbelt sign is turned off, keep your eyes peeled for any vacant spots. If you see one, don't hesitate to ask a flight attendant if you can switch. Remember, it's not just about the extra space. A different seat could offer you a better view, an escape from a noisy neighbor, or even a quicker exit when you land. The key is to stay observant and proactive. Always stay alert. A free seat could be your ticket to a more comfortable journey. Finally, the last piece of the puzzle, packing lightly. It's not just about saving on baggage fees or avoiding the struggle with a heavy suitcase. It's about the freedom of movement, the ease of travel, and overall, a less stressful experience. Picture this, you're running late to catch a connecting flight, and instead of dragging a bulky suitcase, you have a compact carry-on that glides smoothly beside you. That's the power of packing lightly. But how do you achieve this? It's simple. Prioritize. Pack only what's necessary. Choose versatile clothing items that can be mixed and matched. Opt for travel-sized toiletries. And remember, most destinations will have what you need. Traveling light also gives you space to collect memories, not just souvenirs. You have the flexibility to explore more freely, to move more easily, and to embrace the unexpected. Remember, a light suitcase equals a lighter mind. So, there you have it, our top 10 tips for a comfortable economy flight. From selecting seats with care, staying hydrated and packing light snacks, to bringing your own entertainment and dressing in layers. Remember, comfort is key, so wear easygoing attire and shoes. Checking in early, stretching often, and seizing the opportunity to switch seats can also enhance your journey. But the real game changer? Dressing in layers. With these tips, you're well on your way to transforming your economy flight into a first-class experience.